Hello, ah, magandang araw. Ah, muli ako si Teacher Aldrin Teleron at welcome sa panibagong araw ng ating pagtalakay sa Empowerment Technologies. So, ang module na i-discuss ko ngayon ay yung Module 3 which is all about Contextualized Online Search and Research Skills. Okay, so ano ba yung nilalaman ng lesson nito? So, mostly sa atin ay gumagamit or uh, nag-access ng internet. And most of the time, even in Facebook, uh, we used to search, no? Madras tayo nagsa-search. But uh, in this particular na lesson, ituturo ko sa inyo, or didiscuss ko at pag-uusapan natin, ano ba yung mga effective ways, no? Ano-ano may -ano mga uh, kaparaanan ng mabisang pag-search, lalo na sa Google, kapag tayo ay, ay may hinahanap na isang subject, especially, no? Sa inyo, sa mga aralin ninyo, sa iba't ibang mga signatura. Sige. Uh, simulan natin. So, by the way, ito pala yung module na ginagamit yung lagi kong binibigay sa inyo. Okay? So, proceed na tayo sa mismong content. Okay. So, online search. So, is, is it, ang sabi rito, it's the process of interactively searching for and retrieving requested information via a computer from databases that are online. So, ito nga sinabi ko sa inyo uh, kanina, no? gamit ang iba't ibang devices, no? mapasilpo man yan, laptops or personal desktop, tablets, etc. Uh, and then, uh, you are in actively engaging in a online platform, mapa Facebook man yan or Google, no? wherein you are searching or retrieving a certain information. No? Ang ginagawa natin dun is online searching. Okay, so today, searches through web search engines constitute the majority of online searches. Meaning to say, ang sabi rito, nakalimitan daw no, ng mga pag-online searching ay ginagawa sa pamamagitan ng web search engines. Ngayon, ano ba yung web search engine? So, search engines is a service that allows internet users to search for a content via the World Wide Web. Yan, or yung www. A user enters keywords or phrases into a search engine and receives a list of web content. Yan. So, ibig sabihin, for us to be able to search something on a World Wide Web, doon sa tinatawag natin sa madaling sa taas, internet, no? Nangailangan daw tayo ng isang search engine. Ngayon, ano ba yung search engine na yun? Okay. So, ito daw yung mga top 3, no? Na search engine na widely used. Una si Google. No, si Google, yan. Uh, Google is the best search engine worldwide. So, what made Google the most popular and trusted search engine is the quality of its search results. Siyempre, aha, kaya nga sabi sa atin, tayo daw yung mga uh, Google kid, no? <laughs> na madalas yung mga searching natin, ay ginagamit natin si Google. I-Google mo lang yan, ika nga. Pero bukod kay Google, siyempre, may iba pa. Na andyan si Bing, no? uh, bilang isang search engine din. Ayan, ito ang itsura niya, bing.com. And we also have Yahoo, no? So, Yahoo is one of the most popular email providers and its web search engine holds third place in search in an average of 2% market share. Ayan, nung nag-aaral kami, madalas ito yung ginagamit namin. Next, uh, uh, meron din tayong tinatawag na CC search. O, okay, so searches across more than 300 million images from Open API. Uh, I think API means accelerated uh, program interfaces and common crawl data sheet. No? So, ito yung itura ni CC Search no? by Creative Common. Okay? So, dito naman, ang maganda rito is yung mga makukuha mong results or mga searches dito kay, kay CC Search is under Creative Common. Sibig so, sabihin, you are, you are free to use, especially for education purposes only. Okay? So, search engines help you to look for something on the web. No? Yun yun. Now, uh, uh, bukod doon, syempre, uh, we have to, uh, ika nga, to follow a certain a techniques, no? Kapag tayo ay, nag, ay nagsa-search online, gamit ang mga search engines na ito. Again, those are the top three commonly used uh, search engines. Hindi lang sila, marami pang iba. Sila lang yung commonly used widely used. Okay? So, here are the few basic search techniques to follow. No? Number one, 
think before you search, of course. So think about the topic or questions you would like to search. Think about how you would describe the topic and choose three or four keywords. Halimbawa, kung maghahanap ka ng, let us say, relevant study regarding sa inyong assignment, hindi mo naman i-search yung buong question no, ng assignment. So, pili ka lang ng, ng keywords. Halimbawa, uh, what is the meaning of, excuse me, of online platform, for example. Hindi mo naman itatype lahat yun. Lagay mo lang doon, uh, define, or type mo lang sa search engine, lalo kay Google, online platform. So, lilitaw na doon yung ano. Pwede naman yun, by keywords. Next, keep it simple. So, describe what you want in as a few terms as possible. Lalo na, kung may naisip kang idea, no, na gusto mong i-relate sa, sa, sa sagot mo or sa assignment nyo sa school, uh, you have to keep it simple. Pag-listin mo, hindi mo naman pwede. Sabi ko kanina, hindi yung buong tanong itatype mo sa search engine, no? Uh, let us say, limbawa, kung may hinahanap kang uh, uh, lyrics ng kanta, no? Uh, na narinig mo somewhere, uh, some, somewhere kung saan lugar man, then alala mo. Then you want to, to search for the lyrics, but hindi mo naman alam yung, ano, yung tawag rito, uh, yung title, no? At least, yung lyrics, meron kang lyrics na matandaan, i-input mo lang yun, lagay mo title of song, then uh, lyrics, lagay mo lyrics, something like that. So, keep it simple. And then, be specific. The more precise your search terms are, the more precise your search results will be. No? So, katulad din nun, um, maging specific tayo kung anong klaseng yung sinesearch natin, music ba yan? So, pwede mo idagdag sa search mo, music, something like that. No? Lalo kay Google. No, at least, makakategorize niya na yung search mo is about music lang. No? Then, imagine how the web page you are hoping to find will be written. Use words that are likely to appear on the page. So, yung mga keywords na hinahadap mo, itatake mo lang din doon. It's okay. Next, capitalization, punctuation, and spellings don't really matter. So, in most cases, search engines will ignore capitalization and punctuation in a search and will generally autocorrect your spelling mistakes, okay? So, yung, kung yung may hinahanap pa yung isang phrase naman sa isang tula, no, isang poem, uh, kahit na yun na isama yung mga punctuations, kahit yung mismong phrases lang ng poem na yun, hinahanap yung title or ibang version, uh, yun lang ilagay nyo. There's no need pa sa mga additional punctuations, okay? Next, narrow your search results. So, ito yung lagi natin sinasabi pa kanina. Halimbawa, ah, uh, ah, uh, Kung hahanap tayo ng tallest building, let us say, sa isang asignaturo natin, may isang assignment doon, pinapahanap sa ating tallest building, no? Meron daw tayong tinatawag na, na ano, na, na gamitin daw na yung, bo, yung boolean operators, and or and not niya. To broaden daw yung, yung ating searches. Halimbawa, uh, and narrow the search because it requires both terms to be in each item return. Halimbawa, peanut butter, plus and jam, no? Or, dito naman, marathon or race. Ito naman, yung or na operations, no? Broadens to search because, the search because either term or both will be in the return item. Ayan. So, dalawa. No? Yung not naman, so, in Google to, ah, narrows your search because it will eliminate any results with the second term. So, ano yung mga gagamitin nating mga, mga symbols? or words so pwedeng tong tong positive sign or yung add sign for for ano yan ha? for end result kung or naman no or na word or kung net naman lagyan natin ng ng negative sign okay para yung mga searches na na i yung mga results sa ipi-fit sa iyo hindi wala kinalaman sa kanila kasi halimbawa Pag sinurge mo kasi yung Jaguar speed, Jaguar is a, ano kasi, is the type of car. Okay? So, definitely, in your search uh, keywords na ilalagay mo dun sa search engine, so, lalag, ima-minus mo yung word na car. Meaning to say, ang ibibigay niyang result sa'yo, hindi, hindi siya magbibigay, sorry, hindi siya magbibigay ng result sa'yo na may kinalaman sa car. Okay? So, so apply filters or after you search most search engines have filters available that will re that will refine your search to a specific type of contact. Okay? So, limbawa, uh, uh, 
search a specific site. Kung mag if you're looking for a specific topic or a particular website, you can use ito yung yung keyword na site with a uh, uh, tawag dito, uh, with colon to limit your search results to that site. Halimbawa, I say search mo lang yung video about a certain uh, topic. So ilalagay mo lang doon site colon youtube.com. No, okay? Something gana. Okay? So if you are searching for a specific file type, no? Halimbawa, uh, for a certain topic, so ilalagay mo lang din yung word file type. No? So, PPT, something ganun. No? Again, this is for filtering. So, later on, ipapakita ko sa inyo. Next. Search for a time. If you are searching for a time in specific country, ay, sorry. If you are searching for definition, yan, you will add define. Ako, mostly, ito ginagawa ko yan. Para kang auto- automatic si Google nagigiyan ano na natin dictionary so we use define next uh, search for a time if you are searching for a time in specific country use time and then followed by kung anong pangalan ng country or city na yon okay kung social media naman uh, put at sign in front of a word to search uh, to search uh, social media ba at Twitter no sa price naman ganun din yung mga symbols for currency Next ito, yung mga hashtags, no, especially sa loob ni Facebook, no? If you want to look for a certain or mga related photos, public photos, may kinalaman let us say sa sa ngayon ginaganap natin ang World Teachers Day. So pwede kang dun sa search bar ni Facebook, pwede mong ilagay hashtag tas World Teachers Day. Tapos makikita mo na yung mga related post doon na gumamit ng na naka-public na gumamit ng uh, hashtags na World Teachers Day, okay? What else? Uh, yung mga unknown words, no? Put a asterisk daw in your words or phrases, no? Diba? O largest uh, in the world, no? And then, search within a range of numbers. Put between two numbers, camera, plus numbers na yun. Then, mayroong kang tuldok na ilalagay. Ito, dalawang tuldok. Okay, so, uh, mostly, ito yung commonly used, no? Sa pag nag- pag nag-search tayo. Now, let's do some some application dito sa pinagsasabi ni Sir. <laughs> Ayan. So, magpupunta ko ng new window. Nina. Okay. So, halimbawa, dito tayo kay Google. Ito yung tinatawag natin, si Google is a search engine. Ngayon, uh, itong gamit ko na software, si Google Chrome, ito naman yung tinatawag natin web browser. And then, inside web browser, nandun na yung mga iba't ibang search engine. But this time, ang ipapakita ko sa inyo, itong si Google. Now, uh, itong taas ni Google nito, konting trivia lang, ang tawag natin dito, uh, mostly ang tawag natin search bar. Okay? Um, pero, kay Google, ang term nila rito is Omnibox. Ayan, Omnibox. But we, most people call it, ano, search bar. Which is okay naman. Bawa, uh, pwede tayo mag-search yan. But, for the sake of uh, representing the search engine. So, dito tayo magta-type. Yan. Halimbawa, uh, I am looking for yung painting, no? Uh, about Madonna. Madonna is a, ito yung painting na nagdi-depict kay, ano, kay, kay Mama Mary holding Jesus, baby Jesus. But, uh, kung maggagawa lang ako ng let's say, ang alam ko lang is Madonna. Ano? Wala akong alam kung ano yung, ano specific title nun. No. Possible. Ang lumabas is yung Madonna. Ayun, yung Madonna na singer. But if if uh, iaano ko siya, uh, let us say if i filter ko siya. Salang, sambatay ng people to do. Bawa, uh, kung mag-filter ako using uh, ano bawa, ang hinahanap ko ng Madonna is painting lagi ko, painting ayan, so eto na yung mga uh, makikita kong mga related uh, picture or images ng hinahanap kong painting or artwork na uh, may kinalaman dun sa Madonna no? Madonna ano kasi, ah uh, Ito yung mother, no? Uh, mother Mary holding a baby Jesus. So, yun. 
So, ganun tayo mag, mag-search. Okay? Next, what else? Uh, kung may hinahanap tayong ano naman, uh, image, ano ba ba? Image, uh, yung spoliarium. Ayan. Spoliarium. Kasi nabasa nyo to sa sikat to sa social media eh. Yan, so, ito yung, okay, ano, spoliarium, no? Well, but, if you are, we are, we are talking about yung spoliarium na kanta, so, we, we, we search for music, we put music. Yan, so, this is spoliarium. By the way, doon kayo sa all. Okay, nag-gets natin. Now, if we are, If we are looking for the meaning of the word spoliarium, nagay lang natin, define. Kahit wala na itong com, ano, colon. Okay? So, ang spoliarium talaga is painting by a Filipino painter, Juan Luna. Okay? Now, uh, uh, if we are looking for longest word, yan, ito daw yung pinakamahabang ah, uh, Uh, word na existing say sa mga major dictionary. ba? Diba? So, ganito ang mga mga pagsasearch, no? Now, in addition, if you are looking naman for uh, mga scholar, scholastic uh, tawag dito, searches, no? So, mainam na gamitin nyo ay si uh, Google Scholar. So, makikita nyo siya rito uh, kung nakalagin kayo sa inyong Google account. So, hanapin nyo lang rito. Uh, nawala si Scholar. Scholar. Anyway, wala siya rito. Lagay nyo lang natin dito. Google. Scholar. Search mo lang. Okay? Then, enter na siya. Click mo lang yan. Google Scholar. Okay? So, So, nabawa, uh, hanap tayong articles about a a modular uh, learning in education. So, lilip, lilitaw na rito yung mga articles na may ginalaman sa mga modular. So, modular instruction. So, mabisa ito, lalo na sa inyo, uh, grade 11, pagdating ng second SEM, mag-pra-practical research na kasi kayo. Okay? So, Uh, importante na familiar kayo rito paggamit kay Google Scholar. Hindi lang naman hindi lang naman tayo limited kay Google Scholar. May iba pa tayong applications or website na pwedeng gamitin. But mostly naman kasi kay Google Scholar, kinukuha niya rin naman yung galing dun sa mga uh, other scholastic or academic uh, learning sites or websites. So there's ano naman there's no harm use. There's no harm using Google Scholar. Okay? So with that uh Thank you and I do hope na may natutunan kayo dito sa ating topic which is all about uh, contextualized uh, online search. Yan. Okay? Again, pag sinabi natin contextualized, ito yung nakakonteksto base sa kung ano yung mga pangailangan natin o ano yung kinakailangan lang natin is search. Okay? So with that, uh, paalam at hanggang sa muling pag-aaral.